So we have a spindle sander that we made for the drill press. But there was a bit of movement when we're doing any sanding. So what we're looking to do is to build a table. It's going to sit down on the drill press table. So we're using a sheet of MDF. This one is about eight by eight inches. I'm just going to mark right down the center of the board. So in the center is going to be a circular cutout, just so the head of that spindle sander can go through. So for the sizing for that cutout, we're looking for something just slightly bigger than the spindle sander. So I found MDF with these circular hole saw cutouts is very difficult. So I'll probably use plywood in the future. Let's position it roughly, just give you an idea about what it's going to look like. So when you feed it, feed in the timber, it's going to hit the spindle sander, give you a lot more control. So that sandpaper is slightly below the height of the table. So we're going to be bolting up from the bottom through those existing drill press table holes. And they'll just come up through the top. So we've marked it out roughly. Now we'll do some drilling. So these are the bolts that we're going to be using. So for the drill bit, we want it to be at least the width of the thread, but not bigger than the head of the bolt. So I often like to punch them first, just to make sure that drill bit, drill bit um, gets a good catch. One thing you may notice is that when that bolt is on, it's above the height of the table. So we don't want to have that. That's going to catch our timber. So we'll use a spade bit just to recess the top. Using the height adjustment of the drill press, we'll do a test fit. Unfortunately, it's still just slightly above by a couple of mil. And still one or two mil above. It's the third time lucky. And now that's perfect. So we can use that height setting or depth setting for the other three holes. Looking really clean now. Time to fit things up, so we'll raise the height of the table. Now we can drop our bolts in. Then we're tightening them up from beneath. For these, we're just going to be using a washer and nut from underneath. Just tightening by hand, but it's very solid. You can see now, you'll feed the timber in, it's going to hit the sandpaper straight away. You have a lot more control over the spindle sander doing it this way, rather than using it without a table. If you are looking to use other parts of the sandpaper rather than just the bottom, use a spacer underneath the table just to raise the height of the table. Hit different parts of the sandpaper. So you get a lot more control now. So total cost for this is only a dollar or two with the spindle as well, maybe five dollars at most. That's the spindle sander. Hope you enjoy. Like, comment and subscribe. Hope you enjoy.